This is the guy who trained hard to craft his physique. To become one of the freakiest monsters. You know, with hard work and effort, you can achieve anything. He shocked the world with games. They called him the Professor. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Nasser al Sambadi. And, you know, I kind of looked up to Nasser in a sense when I first got started because he was, you know, he was a mass monster. I remember seeing him win Night of Champions. He was full. He was hard, he was ripped, he was shredded. Scale goes up to 300. It's over 300. Yeah, it's over 316. Let's see, Cap. Mr. Jack Cutler, are you ready for the Terminator workout? I'm definitely ready. I meet you in uh, 2.5 minutes, please, downstairs. Okay? Thank you. I hope he will be ready. The challenge is on. Yes. Come on. Let's go. Yeah, it's, it's correct. I'm uh, 305 right now, and uh, sometimes I'm lighter, sometimes I go up to uh, 325 pounds, and uh, so I'm right now in between. You're a big dude. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> At the time I was playing soccer and uh, our soccer trainer uh, brought us to a little weight room. It was uh, beside the soccer field and so we did a couple of exercises for legs like leg extensions and lying leg rolls and calves. And, and, I, and at the beginning, I, as I said, I didn't like it but I wanted to see how strong I was and uh, I bench pressed with 17 already. Uh, uh, this was 70 kilos. And, and so slowly I switched from playing soccer uh, to bodybuilding, but again, it was never ever that, uh, like that, uh, like for example, people like Sean Ray have said, also pro bodybuilder, when he touched uh, the dumbbell the first time, then he knew that his destiny would be becoming a pro bodybuilder. So it was never ever like that. But uh, it was never my dream or wish to become a bodybuilder, it just happened accidentally, I never planned. Actually, in the first two years, I didn't have any uh, uh, routine. Uh, my schedule, the workout schedule, was pretty uh, confusing. I really didn't know what to do the first two years. So I was uh, looking in the different magazines. For sure, I wasn't able to speak English at the time. So I could just see uh, some pictures and then watch some people later in different gyms. But I never had a routine. Sometimes I trained for three days a week. Sometimes I didn't come into this little gym for a month. After two years, basically at the age of 19 and a half, 20, I switched over to a real gym, to a real bodybuilding gym. And uh, then I watched people and then I learned just by, by looking at people and uh, slowly developed my body more and more. But uh, the first two and a half years, I didn't have any routine. Not to be arrogant, I think I'm the only uh, over 300 pound bodybuilder who can guest post with visible abs.
I, I think it's important uh, when you like to progress that you go to a place uh, where more activities instead of uh, training at home or at the so-called home gym because you get motivated uh, when you see other people and uh, subconsciously you like to improve, you like to get stronger or bigger. Everyone's uh, goal, uh, especially when you start in a younger age, is to get uh, stronger and bigger and so uh, this was uh, my thing and then I started doing more compound movement like uh, squats and bench presses and bent over rows and even up today after having uh, been working hard for 22 years I'm still learning and uh, still watching uh, other people and sometimes uh, you forget exercises because you didn't do them you see somebody else in the gym doing it and so you pick up on that and uh, implement it in your own uh, workout schedule Nowadays I'm training five days a week off season. This means uh, when I'm not dieting, training for show five days a week, sometimes once, sometimes twice, however I feel because I'm doing this uh, full professionally and I'm getting ready for show. This means three months, 12 weeks. I will show I train mostly twice a day, more than 10, 12 times a week. Okay, to the side.